Hello there guys and welcome to this tutorial. I decided to make a series of videos, tutoring videos on math and science and just to see if people find it helpful. So this first one will be about percentages and percentages is quite a large topic so I thought I'd split it up into several videos. So this one will be part one and here we'll look at how to find percentage of a number. So this will be GCSE and Key Stage 3 level so let's look at the first example. So the first example here, uh, we've got there are 120 people in a school year, 52 of them got an A in their maths exam. What percentage of the entire school year got an A on their maths exam? So the first thing we need to identify here is what do we consider the 100% to be? We need to understand what the percentage is. A percentage is a part out of 100. So in here, the total number of people, the 120 people, is equivalent to the 100%. Okay, so now we need to find what percentage those 52 people out of the 120. So if we assume that 120 people is the 100%, we need to find what 52 people will be, what percent. And before we look into this, let's just quickly look at a different, slightly different example. If you think of what's, what's half of 120, that's 60, right? So half of 120 is 60, which is 50%. Now, how do we get the value of 50% from that? And the way we do it is like this. So we divide the value by the total and then times by 100. Right? So that way we get it into a fraction. So 60 out of 120 is the same as 1 over 2. So 1 over 2, which is half, or 0 0.5 as a decimal, if it times out by 100, we get 50%. This is basically what we do. We find it as a fraction first, right? So we put the number, which is what we try and find as a percentage, we put it at the top of the fraction, whereas the total goes at the bottom of the fraction. So the total, which was 100%, that goes at the bottom of the fraction. So the same we do with our current example. So we do 52 over 120, we times it by 100. So if you don't times by 100, you just get it as a decimal. If you times by 100, you then get a percentage. So in this case, we get 43.3 .3 recurring percent, or we just can call it 43.3%. Now, going off um, the same example, we just go to another part here, just to get a bit more practice. So if we now look, of the 52 people who got an A in math, if we now assume 18 also got an A in English, now what percentage of those who got an A in math also got an A in English? Now with percentage questions, it's always important to read the question to see what it's asking exactly. So here we want to know of all the people who got an A in math, what percentage got an A in English as well? So now the 52 people that got A in math, now that's our 100%, okay? Which means now we take the number of people who got an A in English and we divide that by the total, which is the 52 this time, which is the number of people who got an A in math. So 18 over 52 times it by 100 and we get 34.6%. Now we're going to look at another example. This is another way that a percentage of a number can be asked. This time around, we're given a number, we have to find a certain percentage of that number. So in this example, we have there were 80 people at a party, 40% of them were over 25 years of age. How many people over 25 were at this party? So in a previous example, we had to find what one number is as a percentage of the other. Whereas in this example, we have to find a certain percentage of a number and to know what value that will be. So the way we do this is, again, if, if we try to find the equivalent fraction, of this percentage, so 40% is 40 out of 100. Uh, so that's what 40% means, it's 40 out of 100, or four out of 10, or two fifths. If you just imagine that that's 40 out of 100, that might make things easier. So, now how do we find a fraction of a number? Well, we simply take the number, we divide it by denominator, and times it by the numerator. So if we had to find 40 hundredths of 80, we take the 80, we divide by 100, and we times it by 40. The alternative way to look at it is we can simply do the 40 divided by 100, because the fraction, what that means is that it's the numerator divided by denominator, so 40 divided by 100, which gives us 0 0.4. So we get a decimal, 0 0.4, and we times it by 80, and both of those will give us the same answer, which is 32 people. So 40%, you can turn it into a decimal or a fraction, and that makes it easier to find what the value will be. So 40 over 100, so 40 divided by 100 times by 80, or 80 divided by 100 times by 40, and we get 32 people. Now we'll go and look at another example. 
On another evening, 96 people came to a party. 55% of them were men. How many men were at this party? Okay, now exactly the same thing. What do you think will be the total here? All right, so the, if you look in the previous example, 80 people were our total. So now it's 96. So we've got to find 55%, which means 55 over 100 times 96. Right, just like in the previous example we did. So if we do that, we get 52.8. Now in this case, we can't have 52.8 people. We have to round it to the nearest whole number. So 53 people because we can't have 0.8 of a person. Okay. Now I'll give you a couple of questions. You can pause the video here and you can practice it. And then I'll give you the answer to both of these questions. So this is based on what we've done today. So if you pause the video now and I'll give you the answer now. So let's look at the answer to question one. So we have, I spent £40 on shopping today. Of that, £22 went on food. What percentage of the money spent today went on food? So we want to know what £22 is as a percentage of £40. So we do 22 divided by 40 times it by 100. And we get 55%. If you look at answer to question two, so a student spent 52 minutes on her homework. Of that, 35% was spent on math homework. How many minutes did she spend on math homework? So 35% is 35 hundredths. So we want to know 35 hundredths of 52. Or if we did as a decimal, it would be 0 0.35 times it by 52. So we times it by the total, which is 52, and we get 18.2 minutes. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at how to increase and decrease by a percentage. So Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And um, if you have interest in maybe having some private lessons, just let me know as well. I am a tutor, so I've been doing this for three and a half years now. Great. Um, see you in the next video.